Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mullen, CEO of the QE2 Foundation. On behalf of the QE2 Foundation and our supporters, congratulations. The QE2 Foundation is honoured to support the diversity in healthcare bursary. Education is an investment in stronger, more diverse healthcare teams that better reflect the communities we serve. And the QE2 is Atlantic Canada's largest adult health sciences centre and healthcare training facility. And we want to help create a vibrant work environment dedicated to improving and saving the lives of patients. You are tomorrow's healthcare professionals, and we hope this first break will help you on your journey. Well, I think of diversity, I think of different cultures, people with different backgrounds. I get really joyful at the thought of learning from different types of people and sharing experiences. I think diversity is one of the best things about humanity that we could uh, cherish and learn from each other. Diversity to me, it's really, you know, not only seeing the differences, um, differences here sometimes it's visible, sometimes invisible, but really knows what it means to, to us as care providers at the same time, what it means, um, you know, for, for clients, for the, the type of work that we do. This means that I'm able to speak up for me, my community, the young people that I serve that are part of the 2S LGBTQ plus community um, and make sure that their voices are going to be represented in, in healthcare decisions and health education decisions to come. It means a lot that QE2 cares um, about diversity in its workforce um, and it's also really important to be able to be educated in how to better serve marginalized patients um, because they are part of the community. It validates our efforts, I think, uh, and just increases uh, the uh, inclusivity that's happening. Making sure that the people in our, our community are reflected in our care team so that we can bring that unique um, perspective to them and get the best care. For me, diversity means um, giving people, irrespective of age, gender, socioeconomic status, equitable, relevant and timely access to resources. Um, a workforce or a staff that is representative of the community of services. We not only uh, come together to uh, admire and acknowledge each other's diversities and our differences, but um, we grow closer to our communities in which we are associated with those differences, such as First Nations communities. Being Black, it really does mean a lot to know that you're recognized for something in the community. Everyone deserve their care. So everyone, including immigrants. Diversity to me it means everyone having a seat at the table. And I think in healthcare it's especially important because it means that patients can see themselves and their experiences reflected in their care providers. A little girl that looks like me needs to see when they go into the hospital. They may have never seen a nurse um, that looks like them. Diversity to me is just giving everyone no matter their skin color, where they're from, uh, whatever their background is, just an equal chance and opportunity to succeed. Having multiple perspectives and skill sets that when used collaboratively allows for the opportunity for better decision making and outcomes. Be able to foster our different healthcare needs among those different cultures as much as we can. It means a lot to me honestly because it's, it can be quite hard, the higher you go in education, the less people, the less diversity you do see. It shows us that we are appreciated and that we are wanted in the community when so many times we can feel unwanted. So receiving a bursary like this and having a bursary like this um, in itself means a lot to the black um, and marginalized communities. Firstly, to me, it's, um, it's an honor to represent um, as a person uh, who's LGBTQ+. Um, and also as a single mom, and in the time of COVID-19, it's uh, going to be a really big help uh, just to kind of get through these next few difficult months. This means a lot to me to be the recipient of this bursary. It's going to go a long way in helping me accomplish my dreams of becoming a nurse in Canada. As black students, we wanted to act as role models for other black students to come in. And when there's bursaries such as the QE2, it's like they honor diversity and the uniqueness that we could bring to the community. And it just like makes you want to work harder and bring more people in from diverse backgrounds. So I think it's truly definitely means a lot to me. It makes me want to work harder. I mean, on the financial level, it's really helpful, especially as a student right now and a lot of uncertainty. So it really helps out with that. But it also shows um, how QB2 and all the foundations really value this, uh, value diversity, so it really means a lot. 
Uh, to receive this award, it meant a lot to me because there aren't that many people of color, uh, of color in the uh, medical field. So to be able to get this reward and uh, to be able to further my goals is just uh, a blessing. I'm, I'm really grateful for receiving it, especially this year of all years, because COVID has really disrupted our education and there's unexpected costs and things associated with that and a lot of extra stress. So it's really great to have a little bit of an extra financial boost this year to help with those things. It means the world to me, first of all, um, to receive this bursary, especially financially, it's going to help me so much. It's just one less thing I have to worry about going into this semester. It means a lot, to be honest. Well, first off, that there's an actual investment in the trying to actually get diversity in healthcare as well as me being a part of that and also being able to actually pursue my career goals. So receiving this bursary is, is really um, a great thing to me and my family because it has given me um, the access to be able to pursue um, my academic um, career. So I'm currently doing my PhD in clinical psychology and I hope to become a child psychologist and particularly serve African Nova Scotia and indigenous populations. Um, right now, one of my biggest interests is perioperative nursing, but I would really like to eventually have a focus in pride health. By sort of whatever cultural aspects I bring and foster those feelings of belonging and cultural pride into cognitive behavioral therapy. Hi, I'm Dr. Brendan Carr, the CEO of the Nova Scotia Health Authority, and on behalf of everybody at Nova Scotia Health and the Central Zone Community Health Boards, congratulations on being awarded a Diversity in Healthcare Bursary. We're very proud to work with the QE2 Foundation and their many donors who have made supporting education for students pursuing a career in healthcare a priority. Over the course of your career, you're going to have many opportunities to impact the lives of your patients but you also have an opportunity to impact our organization by helping us to be more reflective of the communities that we serve. An organization that values and celebrates diversity in perspectives and backgrounds and experiences. Many past recipients of the bursary now work within Nova Scotia Health and it's my sincere hope that each and every one of you will find a place here in the years ahead. Thank you QE2 Foundation and all the donors and supporters that made this bursary uh, possible. We are so appreciative of it. Thank you. Getting it this year was a really huge deal for me to be a part of this and to be awarded this bursary. Thank you very much. So here I'm back home in Nigeria where I come from. That's yeah, I was amazing. smiling today because I told them I'm going to be receiving an award that will enable me to continue my educational um, career. I just want to take the time to say thank you to the QE2 Foundation for giving me the chance to further my education. I just want to thank the QE2 Foundation, its sponsors and its donors for making this bursary possible. Thank you to all the donors who have supported this diversity bursary. It is much appreciated. Thank you QE2 supporters!